So I think there'll be structural changes which will be beneficial for the Sinhala people, the Tamil people, and the Muslim people. That's my own view. And this is a time for us to work hard, do the right thing, and we as a family are committed in the areas that we've identified. You know, just a couple of days we went and visited uh, a village in uh, Kalina, uh, in Muluthi, right? And we had built some houses. To see the poverty level makes you just want to cry. Right? But they have hope. We've given them houses, now we're teaching them how to make a living, and so we'll do it slowly. I, again, this is my thought. We should not be fighting for 13th Amendment because we won't get it. What we should do is have equal, equal devolution to all nine provinces so that the singleness can't object to it, which means the governor should be empowered. And I think the governor should be elected by the people, not appointed by some guy in Colombo who is in touch with the people who want to, you know. Um, so I think if you have effective government at the regional level, that will go a long way towards, you know, helping our people both in the north and in the east, and even the south and the west, right? People are in great difficulty, not just in in Kalinochi or Mulati, even in the south. And that's why, my opinion, the elections two years from now, it's important for the people to speak and not elect part-time politicians in Jaffna that live in Colombo and come here for photo opportunities. Politicians should be among the people working hard and demonstrate results, not just you know, give food packets on New Year's Day or something like that. But the, it is up to us. I mean, I, I bring back the Vietnam thing because it's so impressive what they've done. But Vietnam is a singular, there's one president. They don't have, you know, here even among the Tamil politicians, we can't see eye to eye, right? So the uh, onus is on you to elect people. You have a chance every four years to elect people who actually care about and work for the people. Politics should not be a profession to get rich quickly or to get power quickly. So as a person of the diaspora, I don't know how to go about creating employment. There's no framework. So I'll have to go and meet people which I've done and do it. If we had a sovereign fund or a northern fund like they have in Singapore or Kuwait or Saudi Arabia, administered by people who, who are committed and not trying to get rich quickly, then the diaspora will give money because sitting in Canada, UK, US, you don't have the feet on the ground here to understand who is who. For everyone that I have met, and I mean everyone, there's one guy bad-mouthing him, and there's one guy saying good things. So we will come here for a week or two and run back. We are confused, right? So it has to, again, come from the people. There are respected people here, professors, um, doctors, who can form. Um, I mean, look, if there was a Northern Development Fund, I would contribute lots of money to it. If it is run, with people who care, people like Dr. Sati. And I walked into this hospital two weeks ago, and I was amazed at how clean it was. But more importantly, why everybody saluted him, smiled, and how much love there was for him. Well, I don't know him that well. I met him in New York a few months ago. But I'm here to observe and understand. And immediately I said, this is a man that's made of substance. And you might or might not know his background, but he's a man of substance, right? So if people like him play a leadership role, we can play an advisory role. I spent my whole life analyzing companies in a variety of sectors, investing in them, and all of that. But we need to think big 
and we need to do things that make an impact. For example, the first step would be self-sufficiency in food, right? So agriculture, fisheries. But we can't do it piecemeal. You know, my, my father gave me five acres, let me go and do it. Because when you do it piecemeal, the buyer exploits it. This country is a country of middlemen. The guy who makes the money is not the one who actually harvests the rice, but it's the guy who can transport it to Sri Lanka, I mean to Colombo, and process it and sell it. There are three rice merchants like that, many of them politically connected. We need to break that. And that has to come from the farmers who say, we don't want to sell it to you for 130 rupees. We have an alternative to sell to a cooperative for 180 rupees, and then we will find the, the customers. So it's a big job, but it's not an impossible job. You're right that the Sri Lankan Tamil community has the diaspora, but they don't understand what's going on in the ground here. You do. Right? So they come here, they give $10,000 to something and move on. But we need to harness it. And to harness it, you need to have credible people from here. Now, you can have an advisory board with three or five other people. And that was one of the reasons why I and my wife and my sister decided to build a place in Jaffna, because then we'll have a place. We'll learn about uh, the nuances, and then hopefully invest with the right organizations and the right uh, I am not a big uh, fan of handouts because that creates dependency. But handouts together with a path to self-sustainability, absolutely is important. We just uh, visited, or my sister visited uh, an organization started by an Australian Tamil girl, never lived in uh, Sri Lanka, was here during the tsunami. She's a lawyer. She started an organization called Palmara.org, and they give aid for them to sustain themselves, you know, by either growing chili or whatever they do. It's all mainly targeted at women. Now, in this village, after five years, they make themselves sufficient and they move on to this. And Madhani was telling me yesterday a story when she visited, that one of these women was about to be raped by one guy. She made one call. Within 10 minutes, there were 50 women there at her house to chase away the man, right? That is the power of communal thinking and communal living. And we are going to support her because that's, you know, when, when I meet Sati and I say, I'm going to support him, she meets uh, this girl, uh, Aparna, we're, going to, we're trying to, but if we were able to invest at a high level, a fairly large sum of money, and have you guys administer it and we advise, but it has to come from people of the north and the east, is my opinion.